That night, while having dinner, Gauramma started on her favorite topic. If Shekhar says yes, then which marriage hall shall we book? How many saris should we buy? How much gold and silver has to be given? Nobody answered her, but she continued in the same vein. Finally, Girish got fed up and said bluntly, Even if Shekhar agrees, we must turn it down. I made some inquiries and learned that he is living in with a white woman. What rubbish! This is just a story made up by the people who can't bear our happiness and these people are jealous of us, said Gaurama. No, this was told me by a well-wisher, said Girish and he explained what had happened. He stood up and said sharply, Look, I have given my opinion. Despite that, if you want to go ahead, you can. And walked away. Surabhi burst out crying as though the wedding had been already fixed and then called off, very dramatically as she has been. Vinisha tried to comfort Surabhi. She said, Surabhi, control yourself. It is good that I took your brother to Mohan's house. Otherwise, we would not have known anything. You will definitely get a better husband. Shekhar is not worth crying for. Vinisha's wise words boom ranked on Gaurama. Gaurama was tormented by feeling of defeat, despair and indignity. She suddenly burst out at poor Vinisha, though she was pregnant, and said, You are responsible for Girish's behavior. You are teaching him everything and trying to keep him under your thumb. You saved the money in your marriage by not selling your house and made us hang our heads in shame. Vinisha was stunned. Before she could understand what Gaurama was saying, Surabhi joined her mother immediately and shouted. You are jealous of me. Ever since you have come, I have noticed that you create a fight between Amma and Girish. You are doing everything possible to stop me from going to America. You want that? I should live like you. Earn my living by hard work and count every pesa. Learn from Jamuna. She is so generous and caring. You think if I become richer than you, then what will happen to you? You are also afraid that if this house has to be sold for my marriage, then you will become homeless and face difficulties. You are selfish to the core. Shamana, who had been listening to this tirade, lost his temper and shouted, Surabhi, hold your tongue! Appa, not all that glitters is gold. She is a very cunning woman. That is the reason people say you should bring brides from good families. Look at Jamuna, it reflects on her family. She is so unselfish and kind. Surabhi, your tongue is wagging too much. Let me pull it out before you say the next ugly word. In a towering rage, Shamana got up and even raised his hand to slap his daughter. Vinisha, who was standing next to him, caught hold of his hand just in time. Surabhi had said something awful and Vinisha found it difficult to accept. She was shocked and badly hurt. But she knew that she had to try to control this fire. She told Surbhi, I have always thought of you as my sister and have wished for your happiness. That is why I took an interest in your marriage and tried my best to ensure your welfare. Now I know my position where I stand in your eyes. I will not meddle with anything concerning this family hereafter. Please forgive me. 
leaving her meal unfinished she rose from the table helpless shamana just stood dismayed at the terrible turn of events gorama and sorbi stayed immersed in their thoughts avoiding vinisha's pinched wet face and continued to eat This was the first major conflict in their house and the dollar had played its insidious evil part.